peace, blessings, and love to you and your families. And may Yahweh bless the sins here as always. So in this video, we're going to talk about rising up for Yahweh against the wicked. It is because of the name of the Most High Yahweh that I make my videos. I try to be, you know, consistent in making videos. And it's never because I wanted to make a name for myself or I want to be like this over-righteous Hebrew servant of God. But it's always for the sake of the name of Yahweh, so that his name may be extolled. That's the reason why the sincere servants of Yahweh will do what they do. So, the Most High Yahweh, he is the one who gives us another day to get up, to acknowledge his ways, to honor his name. This is why, in these times and in these days, he will put his spirit on his sincere servants. He will put his words in our mouth. To rise up for him against the wicked. And now let's read Leviticus 19 and 14. Do not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind, but fear your God. I am Yahweh. Do not pervert justice, do not show partiality to the poor or favoritism to the great but judge your neighbor fairly so this is what's going on today all over the world injustice people showing partiality to the laws of the most high people showing favoritism to the rich and to the great Jeremiah 23 and 1 woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture. So who are the shepherds? Well, it's talking about, you know, these rich leaders and kings of the other nations. The nations that have our people and all peoples oppressed by their religions and by their standards. Woe to the shepherds who are destroying and scattering the sheep of my pasture, declares Yahweh. So how are they destroying Yahweh's sheep and his pasture? Well, with their lives, let's go ahead and start off with Psalms 5 and 8. Lead me, Yahweh, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. That's the reason why the Most High Yahweh says that he's making a way, right, for his people. We're not going to be following in the ways of these other nations around us, right? Because why our ancestors and our grandmothers and grandfathers did that, and their minds... Their minds was wasted away, all right? They weren't able to produce the fruitful thoughts, the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding that the Most High Yahweh was giving those who trust in Him. They weren't able to see that. Why? Well, because. Because of the enemy. Because of what they have done. So this is why the Most High Yahweh was making a way for those who are going to trust in Him, honor His name, and follow in His ways. It says here, Not a word. From their mouth. From whose mouth? The enemy's mouth. Not a word from their mouth can be trusted. Their heart is filled with malice. Their throat is an open grave. With their tongues, they tell lies. Declare them guilty, O God. Let their intrigues be their downfall. Banish them for their many sins. For they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you be glad. Let them ever sing for joy. Spread your protection over them, that those who love your name may rejoice in you. Surely, Yahweh, you bless the righteous. You surround them with your favor as with a shield. All right, this is why Yahweh is our shield. Yahweh is our glorious sword because the Most High Yahweh, right? He gives us the vindication. The Most High Yahweh is the one who goes before us. That's why He's our sword and our shield. Psalms 59 and 10. Well, let's start off at verse 9. Sorry. You are my strength. I watch for you. You, the Most High, are my fortress. 
You see that? Yahweh is everything. He is our strength. This is why you have to constantly wait for your God, right? And when we say wait for our God, are we talking about some man coming out the sky? No, we're not. We're talking about waiting for the words of Yahweh, our God, to come to pass. This is what it means to wait for your God. Okay? You are my strength. I watch for you. You, the Most High, are my fortress. Which this is a precept to this scripture here. Let's go ahead and get it. Isaiah 35, starting at verse 4. Say to those with fearful hearts, Be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. So does this mean that some guy is going to come out the sky? No, it means that his words are going to be fulfilled in our lifetime. This is what it means. It means that everything he said that he was going to do will surely come to pass whether you believe it or not. That's what it means. Okay? He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Right? The Most High Yahweh says that he will spread his protection over you. His righteous right hand. Okay? Verse, verse 5 says, Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped which is happening now through the spirit of the most high yahweh praise yahweh our god psalms 59 and 9 again you are my strength i watch for you you the most high are my fortress my god on whom i can rely you see that our god does not fail us all right the most high will go before me and will let me glow over those who slander me but do not kill them yahweh our shield or my people will forget in your might uproot them and bring them down you see well let's understand this here some people will say all right well you know i'll go through what i have to go through that's fine the Most High is not going to kill me. But you have no idea that the Most High Yahweh, right? He will make your punishment last forever. As it is written in Psalms 81 and 15. Those who are proud, arrogant, those who hate Yahweh would cringe before Him. And their punishment will last forever. That's the reason why they're not going to die. Okay? Because why? Because you will. You will feel the righteous judgment being executed upon you that's why it says but do not kill them Yahweh our shield or my people will forget all right the most high Yahweh says that uh the evil will no longer be found among our people all right that's only gonna happen to the wicked so therefore you know calamities and disasters will be found among the wicked because they're going to continue to be arrogant. They're going to be the ones to continue to uh, be wicked, right? So this is why the Most High Yahweh says He will uproot them and bring them down. Okay? Let's go ahead and understand this here. That the Most High Yahweh says that uh, these people who are arrogant, right? These people who think that it's because of their own power and strength that they will prevail. Well, the Most High Yahweh says that uh, you can think all you want. That is because of your power and strength, but the Most High Yahweh is the one who does it all. Psalms 81 and 16, but you would be fed with the finest of wheat, with honey from the rock, I would satisfy you. Because this goes hand in hand with the scripture here. This is for the wicked, right? For the rebels. Never towards the sincere. This is why... These people who are going to continue to be wicked, right? Well, their minds are going to be wasted away. This is why they're not going to be able to see prosperity. Isaiah 48 and 18 says, If only you had paid attention to my commands. But no, they were too busy 
paying attention to the commands of men and to the ways of men, right? Too busy worrying about their cars, their clothes, their money, and everything else. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river, your well-being like the waves of the sea. You see that, rich men? You see that, strong, mighty men? You think your money, you think your power can get you this here? No, it can't. This is why disasters and calamities shall come upon the earth, upon those people who are arrogant, these people who think that they don't have to give God any, uh, you know, any reverence, right? This is why it says, if only you have paid attention. Let's go ahead and show you this here. Isaiah 52 and 3. Deliverance for Yahweh Shalom. For this is what Yahweh says. You were sold for nothing, and without money you will be redeemed. How is that? Well, because um, the sincere servants of Yahweh, those who Yahweh will redeem, they're going to be paying attention to His commands. Alright? They're going to be giving their time to His laws, to His ways. They're going to be seeking His face. That's the reason why they will be redeemed. Let's go ahead and show you this. Isaiah 51 and 11 says, Those Yahweh has rescued will return. They will enter to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Why? Because they're going to be crowned with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High Yahweh. Their minds are not going to be wasted away, given into corruption. You see that? It says, Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them and sorrow and sign will flee away that's what it means to be blessed you think your money you think your power your woman can get you this it can't all right this is why we're going to see a big distinction between those who serve the true living god and those who serve themselves and worthless items we are living in those days all right again everlasting joy will crown their heads who the sincere because this is a precept to this verse here. Well, let's start off from Isaiah 28 and 5 first. So it says, In that day, Yahweh Almighty will be a glorious crown. A beautiful reef from the for the remnant of his people and now let's read Isaiah 62 and 3 you will be a crown of splendor in Yahweh's hand a royal diadem in the hand of your God no longer will they call you deserted right because why because the wisdom knowledge and understanding shall be poured out on the most high house sincere servants right his spirit will be upon his servants his words in their mouth he will give them their fruitful thoughts that's why they will no longer call you deserted or name your land desolate but you will be called hef ziba and your land beulah for yahweh will take delight in you and your land will be married which is talking about your mind Okay, in other words, you're going to return to your God, you're going to know who is your creator, and you're going to follow in his ways. Okay, so let's understand this here, right? The Most High Yahweh says that uh, these people, these people who lie to you on, the, you know, on TV and their news, right? They're no good, they're going to continue to lie to you. And our people, you know, they're going to continue to believe lies because they're not discerning. And, you know, me personally, I don't ever gloat over my brothers. I don't ever rejoice over anybody's fall. 
I try to do what I do through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh, whether anybody likes it or not, you know, or no matter whatever, you know, no matter what anybody thinks of me or of it, I'm just going to continue to do what I have to do, because Yahweh says this of you, right? Deuteronomy 32 and 28, it says, they are a nation without sense. There is no discernment in them. If only they were wise and would understand this and discern what their end would be. Okay, so let's understand this here. The Most High Yahweh says that he was going to do what he had to do for his name's sake. Because why? Well, because his people, his people are fools, right? And again, it's never to uh, offend anybody. It's always to remind you that you have to return to Yahweh, your God, because you have forsook him. Okay, our ancestors, your ancestors, they have all forsook the ways of Yahweh. Jeremiah 4 and 22. My people are fools. They do not know me. All they know is man-made laws. That says they are senseless children. They have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil. They know not how to do good. Okay. So, this is why it says, if only they were wise and would understand this and discern what their end will be. How could one man chase a thousand, or two put ten thousand to flight, unless their rock had sold them, unless Yahweh had given them up? So, let's understand this here. Yahweh is the one that goes before us, okay? Isaiah 45 and 2 I will go before you and will level the mountain I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron like it says in Isaiah 26 and 4 trust in Yahweh forever for Yahweh Yahweh himself is the rock eternal he humbles those who dwell on high he lays the lofty city low he levels it to the ground and cast it down to the dust. Feet trample it down, the feet of the oppressed. Okay, not the rich, not the violent, not the greedy, not you religious folks. All right, you people, you know, you basically like to be oppressed. You like to be oppressing others with your lies. So it can't be talking about you. It's talking about those that you people hate those that the government want to uh, annihilate feet trample it down all right the feet of the oppressed the footsteps of the poor which goes hand in hand with uh, malachi four and three then you will trample on the wicked there will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day when i act says yahweh almighty Isaiah 26 and 7. The path of the righteous is level. You, the upright one, make the way of the righteous smooth. Yes, Yahweh, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desires of our hearts. Okay? That's the desires of our hearts. You understand that? Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, go back to this here. Where it says here. In Psalms 5 and 8. Lead me, Yahweh, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. So this is what the Most High Yahweh does. All right, to those who trust in his name, to those, right, who have took his words to heart. Yes, Yahweh, walking in the way of your laws, we wait for you. Your name and renown are the desires of our hearts. And this is why the Most High Yahweh blesses those who take refuge in him, okay? But the Most High Yahweh, you know, he basically tells you, that uh, the desires of the wicked are not good, right? Their minds are basically given over to vanity, chasing after the winds.
So this is why they cannot see prosperity.